Right. <laughs> I am so glad that we are all here together. <sighs> Today, hey guys. It's been a long time. I know. I don't even want to think about how long it's been. It's been like seven weeks. <sighs> I know. It's crazy. Everybody has been Partly asking. your fault and partly my fault. Because you got sick at the beginning of January, and then I went away, yeah. and then I went away, and then I got sick. Yeah, Adrian got very sick. We were supposed to record last week, but um, she I had very, zero very voice. Sick. You said, I actually yeah. took two days off work. That's unheard of. I for know. Now. I never take time Serious. off work. So yeah, I was. There's some, I was gross. There's crazy stuff going around. I know. Right now, everybody. Is, you'll this is notice, not the coronavirus. <laughs> you'll notice that it was never my fault. I was here. <laughs> this time. This time. I know. This time. I know. I know. Don't say that. I you know. better not have just jinxed I've yourself. I've it. Yeah. We didn't say hello. Hi. Hi, everybody. Hello. We're the Fiber Friends from London, Ontario. I'm Adrian. I'm Louise. And I'm Caroline. Yay. Yay. We're back. And <laughs> this is a big episode, is it not? It is a big episode. We're 50. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> We are 50. A good number to be, I have to say. We're yes. a half century. Yeah. We are half century. Okay, that That's makes amazing. it sound old. I don't want to think right, about that. Right, because 50 doesn't sound old. Well, 50 is not old. 50 is not, no, not old. 50 is not old. I'm nowhere near 50, so that's why I can say that. <laughs> I turned 50 this year. 50 I is know. not old. That's why I'm saying it. You need to come a little bit more this way. We need to. Adrian's only half in the. Uh oh. There. You move your chair to me. Do I need to me. move? Oh, come on. You can do it. I don't think I can. You stand up and push. There. <laughs> there. Right. That's better. We're all in. That's better. Okay. There. Squish. <laughs> Snuggle. <coughs> Sorry. Come on. Sorry. Oh. Hey. Welcome, ladies. It is Thanks. so good to be together again. It's yeah. been way, it is. way too long. I know, long. I know. Remember those those crazy days when we were like, we'll podcast every week. <laughs> and Asa laughed and, and laughed. laughed. <laughs> she was right. Oh, we were I so full of it. Wow. Oh. But so much has happened. So the last time we podcast was December 13th was the day we recorded. Yeah. So lots That's of right. craziness has happened. I went to Calgary Christmas. and came back. We had Christmas. Yeah. Speaking of Christmas. New Year's. Oh. Speaking of Christmas. This arrived at my house the day we podcast. Oh. So. I think so I know who this is I from. know who this is letter. from, too. So I opened it because I was like, what's this? And then I, as soon as Aww. I opened it, I was like, I know what this is. <laughs> so that's for Caroline. Aww. And that's for Louise. Aww. So we got... We got cards. <gasps> get these. Look at what is your sticker? Oh, you've got a. I've got your muffs. You got this Christmas, and I see. I'd like Christmas all year long. It says believe in the magic. I got a heart. Because she loves me. And Christmas magic should last. I all think. Long. I think she saves these and yeah. only gives them to us. <laughs> are they more hat ones? Yeah, yeah. they are. These oh, beautiful hats. Look. look. This glittery, gorgeous. Jessica. Jessica. Thank you, Jessica. Jessica. Oh my gosh, I love this one. I love it. This is Thank the one you. I got this one last year, and that's the one that I actually knit in trip. I knit that hat. I just I love it. She, oh, she puts a nice. year on the back yeah. Yeah. so that we can keep them in order so we know which ones. Which ones? <laughs> so we have a nice oh, little collection so... of them. Oh Jessica Jane. Jessica, this is so lovely. So thank you, Jessica. I felt bad when I got home. And I got look, home. and she put individual stickers on the inside I know. too. I got I love winter, which I do. I have a gingerbread boy, which I love gingerbread men. No Christmas for you. <laughs> no, <laughs> not mine. Like, there's a snowman. I got a tiny little snowman. You have a winter card. Okay, and well, I appreciate oh, that. That's so I funny. love those. That is thoughtful. I, love <laughs> I can see. I can. I can. I'm gonna end with that. Okay, so I have a little card for each of us too. What? Yes, these came because, whoops, on the Fiber Friends Facebook group, our Friday night group that does yeah. our video, we did a Christmas card swap oh, this year. Oh, that's so nice. Yes. Oh. I think I, I remembered reading about it, yes. but I didn't. But it was. December was a blur of yeah. daily videos. And, we, <laughs> and, and honestly, I can't remember who suggested it. It wasn't me. I, I wasn't thinking that far ahead. <laughs> So it was kind of, we did it really quickly right at the end yeah. of November. So, but it was so much fun. We are going to do it again next year. I've already oh. decided. Executive decision. We're doing it. So that's the Facebook group. Fr the Fiber, Fiber Friends, Friends Friday, Friday Night, Night Knit, Knit In. in. Yes. 
If you can say it, you can join it. <laughs> <laughs> you can join even if you can't. Yeah, totally you can fine. join. We let, well. <laughs> they let me in. They'll we, let the rest of you in. <laughs> so we did this. So this came, now, I call her Elena from Norway. That is not her first name. That's her middle name. I cannot pronounce her first name. So okay. I just call her Elena. So she knows who she is. And so these came. One for you. Oh, thank you. So they have a note on the back. Oh. This one's mine. These are beautiful. Oh, yes. oh. I know. Aren't they lovely? So much Pretty. Now, this is this is a compliment. I, I, mean, I, read I didn't mine yeah, out loud. I, sure. I didn't yeah, I didn't read everybody. I just read mine. Dear Caroline, thank you so much for the podcast. I sometimes also watch your other channel, despite not being a stitcher. I just like to listen to you. Oh, you that's know like when? the biggest compliment oh, ever totally for you. Is. You're like, you know what? Listen to me. I don't know <laughs> if you, you know thank how you so much. often people say that. I hear that a lot. I'm not a stitcher, but I watch anyways. Well, yeah. I've turned a few people over to stitching. You have. Yeah. I turned you into a knitter. That's true. I mean, I didn't teach you. You taught yourself, but, but you convinced I me to encouraged try. you. <laughs> yep. But a lot of people say, yeah. oh, I'll just put Caroline on. because I Oh, can that's so nice. I can listen to her talk for hours. Oh, that's very nice. That's very kind. Yeah. I can listen to myself talk to, for hours, too. Yeah, you totally so. could. <laughs> <laughs> See, I can talk for hours, but I don't like listening to myself. I love your oh. voice. Do you? Yeah, I do. I don't. Your voice is very comforting. Is it, well, that, mm -hmm. uh, that's what people think about you. Well, that's nice. Oh, look at, look well, at funny, us. They don't Boom. say that about me. <laughs> <laughs> well, today, today, your voice is, you know, yeah, you're a little, little scratchy. A little, a little extra deep today. <laughs> I think that the three of us make a good team. Okay. Can I read mine? Just yes, it's please. Very cute. It says, Dear Adrian, thank you so much for the podcast. I often wish I could be there in person and give you a hug. Oh. That's so <laughs> That is really sweet. Now look at, she so needs nice. a hug now. <laughs> Thank she you. is so sweet. So I'm, I guess I will read mine too. It says, it was so great meeting you this autumn. I hope you come back to Norway soon. I hope you and Eric need to have a very Merry Christmas. Oh, that's really nice. So, I know. So Elena, so I, that is her name. Yes. Um, <laughs> which I tried and it doesn't look like it's that hard. But apparently I can't pronounce it because Asa was laughing at me and they just said, yeah, don't worry about it. Right. Because so, Asa wouldn't laugh at you for like every reason. Oh, I know, saying, right? Like so I just call her Elena because that's what I can pronounce. And that is her middle name. And she is so sweet. She came and she met us the day that we flew into Norway. Aww. She Because she lives just outside of the oh, city. Oh, that's really nice. So she came into Oslo and then we all met and we had lunch together. That's awesome. Yeah, she that's has really a lot of like, And we went nice here and she also will get all three here. Yeah, I think they're beautiful. That's awesome. Thank, Thank you lovely. so much. <sighs> See? Christmas, I know. Christmas spirit just there you go. keeps going. Shall we keep the Christmas spirit going just a little bit longer? What? Yeah. So. I, started. Oh. <laughs> I had no idea. I was just like, I was so proud that I remember. <laughs> a long time ago now, probably five a month ago, five weeks ago, shortly after we podcast the last time, I received a box in the mail. What? Mm -hmm. Oh my God, <coughs> I did. From I received kept a this, box in the mail. You've kept this a secret. I have kept this a really big secret from you guys. Oh, just dropped my stitch marker. Okay, I'll find it after. That's a sign. <laughs> okay, so I received a box and I knew it was coming, but I didn't know what was what was coming. And it was from a woman named Maria, Maria Kutzner, who I have kind of gotten to know a little bit through um, the Learn to Knit Socks because she's a stitcher, but she's also, she was also, I think, already a basic knitter, but mm -hmm. she wanted to learn how to knit socks. And, and so she, she followed did. through the Learn to Knit Socks for you. Um, awesome. tutorials that Louise and I did and became a very proficient sock knitter. And... I think last spring she'd sort of messaged me and she said, I'm thinking of sending you something. And then a few months later, fast forward a few months later, she said, I'm ready to send you something. And so she sent me a box, a box. of stuff. Now, there was some stuff in here that was uh, for more cross stitch mm -hmm. off the grid related. However, there was also a bunch of stuff in here for the fire friends. This is a big box, Maria. This is exciting. 
Oh, so careful, you might like get me to start liking Christmas. Adrian, Ooh. Ooh, what, what was that? Nothing. I didn't say anything. <laughs> did, did you guys <laughs> catch that? Did I'm you guys wait. catch that? Maria, if you've converted Adrian, that's amazing. Okay. Because I've been trying. So open and read Ooh, your cards wow. first. Beautiful card. Maria also sent three packets of coffee. One for each of us. Nice. Smells so good. Now I already opened my card and I'll, I'll let you enjoy those for a moment. <laughs> Maria, I feel like Santa. Thank you. <laughs> Aww. So Maria is from Texas and so she has sent some Lola Savannah <sighs> Go Texan coffee cool one for each of us that's oh amazing and it just smells amazing okay now are you ready does it smell are you ready oh, close your amazing. eyes close, right. close your eyes hold out your hands and don't open your eyes until i tell you okay oh, this okay is killing me hurry okay <laughs> don't open your eyes you know maria you know really i don't like this but I like that she doesn't like this. Way to go, Maria. I know. <laughs> when somebody says, close your eyes and hold out your hands. Okay, open your eyes. <gasps> That's the cutest. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <gasps> Can you believe that? Oh, my God. Maria, she made these. She Trust made these. Eggs, specifically. Maria. This is so with, me. With each of us in mind. <sighs> and I haven't opened or used mine because I was waiting until we could oh, all have kidding. them together. Oh my goodness. Yeah. It's Look beautiful. at this. The yellow. And birds. Yep. Yep. And a drawstring. <gasps> and I oh, think she goodness. nailed Adrian's fabric. Oh, totally. To that is totally yeah, it. Yeah, like the, like the geometric patterns yep. with the teals and the And isn't it and a things? sweet drawstring? I mean, it's it just so it's such a nice size. It's beautifully oh. made. Maria works um, for a needle workshop down in Texas. I know. There's scooties inside. There's stuff inside. <laughs> oh. I know. And she chose the yarn specifically for each of us. So, do you want me to start? Okay, sure. you start. Oh, surprise. I know. Perfect. A beautiful skein of Mad Tosh. Oh, that's Mad Tosh. gorgeous. Isn't that amazing? It's a one of a kind. That's now, beautiful. if I'm not mistaken, this is her, like, Mad Tosh is a local dyer down there. <laughs> Just, How nice you know, is that? <laughs> wow. I mean, you know, just as you do. Up over the bed. So dash. this is a one of a kind dyed in hand by in Texas from wool ethically sourced in South oh. Africa. So we oh. all know Mad Tosh, but this is Maria's local local yarn dyer. That's Pretty cool, awesome. right? Pretty cool. So I love mine. Very cool. Let's see yours. I'll give you one guess what color it is. <laughs> Orange. Oh no. Yellow. Oh, oh lovely both. Oh, look it's at total. that. Again, that is beautiful. Mad Tosh light, one of a kind. Oh my gosh. That is stunning. <gasps> that is gorgeous. That is stunning. Nice. Oh, does it have it? So there's no name or something because it's one. It's a one oh of a God. kind. One yeah, of a kind. These are one of a kind. I love that, but look at the little bits. Yeah, of orangey, That's rusty beautiful. color. That is fantastic. Okay, let's Marino see yours. Marino well. Mine. Oh my God! Look at that. How perfect is that? That is beautiful. Wow! So this is Look at Seven that. Seas, and it is a seventy-five twenty-five twist light. This is beautiful. Perfect. Wow. Perfect. Perfect. Maria. Perfect. And there are a couple of uh, other little goodies in here. We've got a DPN, a matching DPN holder to go oh with the gosh. bag. <gasps> so there is. Whoops. And a little oh, pair of. Oops. Snap, snips, ah, little pair of snips. Cute. Oh my gosh, am I no yellow? Uh huh. Am I no green? <laughs> and then, How thoughtful. look at this. I thought this was this really is clever. Cute. What is this? There's, guess what's inside? Yes. Stitch markers? Uh huh. Oh my goodness. Look, a little paw print. And then just a little purple jewel. Oh my like goodness. every detail, a sheep. Sheepy. They're just beautiful, and everything is just. This okay. entire box 
was, you know, I was speechless with this box of treasures. I mean, Maria, it was just, she was so thoughtful and Maria. kind. I mean, it was amazing. And so. everything, mine is all orange and yellow. Yeah. I have a sheep and I yeah. have a kitty. She thought about each one of she us. She did, and, and a, a yellow paw print. Yeah. It's a so sheepy. I've been waiting to send Maria dangerous. a thank you. Oh my goodness! Until I gave you your gifts, so okay, that you can't uh, see this, but it's a little puppy dog so that we sitting can thank down. Her together. Well, that's lovely because I know I've chatted a lot with Maria on one yeah. group or another too. Aren't they thank like just so beautiful, much. gorgeous? I love yellow, everything's beautifully sewn. Yellow and pink, pink because as you guys it's know, beautiful. pink is not necessarily love my this. color. But let me tell you, yellow. But there's just a little no, bit of it in there. I love it. Yeah. Yellow and pink together. Yeah. I love it. And you see, we have the same fabric on mm -hmm. the top. But look at how different the bag looks. Yeah, with the different with bottoms. With the different bottom. With the different on bottom. It. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. What what a treasure. Maria, oh, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. And I finally so I finally got and to give it to you guys. To I have been I have been holding on to this for ages. Oh. I feel like I need to use this little kitty stitch marker. So um Merry Christmas from Maria. Thank you, Maria. Merry <laughs> Christmas. Thank you so much. Too. Happy birthday, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. All from Maria. So oh my goodness, it's just this a, is a beautiful gift. Thank you. It is yeah. so yeah. generous and so thoughtful. I know. I know. Oh, I was blown away. Wow. Just really incredible. I, like, I know, and just individualized, right? Yeah. The colors. I know. Just amazing. This is just like the key. I know. Oh. And I'm going to use this right now because look at this. This guy doesn't have a home. I can't oh, stop now smelling. It, does. it smells so good. <laughs> <laughs> it does smell mm. really good. Oh. Yep. Okay. Ah, that's good. That's amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much. Now that I've finally given it to you guys, I'm going to. Make now you can use your coffee. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to pop. Wasn't that fun? That was yeah. very surprising. I know. Yeah, it was very, awesome. very Unexpected surprising. And I know. So sweet. So sweet. Okay. I'm going to use this. I'm going to set my kitty right here. Almost looks like Daisy, doesn't it? I mean, it does a little. It does look a little bit like says, Daisy. Because she's got black on her. Yeah. Look at, look at that. A Daisy, nice. a Daisy stitch marker. Okay. Wow. I love it. So your stitch markers mm -hmm. are gold and mine are all in silver. And I don't know how she knew, but I like silver and not gold. Yeah. Well, See, there you go. Like, like, and I just dropped my stitch marker on the floor. So no, you don't now you get to, I don't even <laughs> have to bend over. <laughs> Oops. Now you do. Yeah. <laughs> that one you're going to okay. go after. This one. Oh, that's one you so that's pretty. pretty. Okay. Oh, look at this. There. You can see that. To have new yarn. New yarn is going to be a rarity for me this year. Yep. So, nope. I like that. And did you have to... <laughs> No, yeah, no. Did you guys see the card? Oh, that's right. And she said that this is what Texas looks like yeah. in the spring. springtime. Yeah. And I was in... So, Maria, we'll lovely. have to chat and see where you are. I was, I was in Dallas a few years ago. And our friend Jill, who is a fiber friend knitter, mm -hmm. she lives in Texas, too. Mm. Cool. And I it thought, really looks like a beautiful state. Oh, mm. we were there just yeah. Not well. No, I was there for a week with the kids. It was lovely. It was hot, yeah. hot, hot. We were there in the summer. It was hot. <laughs> I like, went to uh, San Antonio was it last February, and it rained. It was very disappointing. <laughs> Texas did not live up to my expectations, oh. so that means I have to go back so it, it can have a chance to redeem the itself. The weather in Texas didn't live up to your okay, expectations. Okay, that's probably more accurate. You're correct. The weather in Texas did not live up to my so, expectations. And when we were there, it was, I forget what month it was. It was before. It must, must have been July. I'm guessing it must have been July. And it was hot. Like, it was like you open the door at 8 o'clock in the yeah, morning. But it's Texas. It What'd you expect? 36 degrees. I don't know. It was hot. Did I mention that? It was hot. Alrighty then. But it was it was fantastic, and I found yarn shops there. Kids weren't so excited about that part, but it's a I dry was, heat. Yeah, right. It wasn't yeah. really humid, but it was hot. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, move on. Yeah, but I I want to go back to Texas. Beautiful. So nice. Maria, if you are anywhere in Texas, welcome visit. <laughs> in Texas, I know. That's why I'm already thinking because I'd love to go down and visit Jill. Well, there you go. And we can meet up with Maria, if you know. I mean, Texas is a big state. That it is. <laughs> so. 
All right. Someday. Hopefully. Should we talk about knitting? No. <laughs> we're only 20 minutes in, but you know. It, but we're knitting. We've, we've had yarn content. And, there we go. There yes. We go. Chit chatty goodness. All right. So All right. we should start with finishes. I have none. Okay. I have some. How many do you have? Is it a contest? <laughs> it's always a contest. <laughs> I have five. Five? Awesome. How many do you have? I have eight. <laughs> you have eight finishes? Yep. Are you kidding? No. You Okay, just wait a second. Oh my Just before we Lord. hit record, Adrian's like, oh yeah. I've barely had any. I haven't got any done. I, yeah. She was lying. You said no. that. You said that. I did. It's been seven weeks, people. And you have but you have eight fish. <laughs> how how many and do I you have? Really have? <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's okay. Do you want to start? Sure. Let's I'll see start. Right. sure. So first off. I'm guessing there's, what will they be? Socks? <laughs> so the first one is... Dishcloth. Dishcloth. Is... Wow. Oh, you... oh, oh, I remember seeing that. Yes. So this is the Durand cowl. Wow. Oh, so this is that. made with Super Bulky by Leo and Roxy. So That's amazing. Oh, that looks yeah. nice. Yes, I know. This is the the stuff... It, we sh I showed it on the last podcast mm -hmm. that everyone was like, you bought what? Yeah. <laughs> But look, it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's nice. Yeah. So I was knitting this. This was my Christmas Eve cast on. I was staying in Sarnia with uh, Lisa of the Codependent Knitters. And I cast this on. And her mom had knit one. And she's like, we're short. And we have like short necks. She's like, don't do all the repeats. So I said, okay. Uh, and yeah. even then, it's still plenty tall and all. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm glad I, I cut down a repeat. But yeah, so it's lovely. Oh, that's, that's nice. really nice. The color, yeah. it's that, yeah, it just. I know, and it'll go great with like my my black mm -hmm. slash navy mm -hmm. peacoat. So that's, so that's number one. Beautiful. Oh. That is beautiful. And number two is a modified. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I wanted one that had a little bit more stockinette in it. So I modified the Durand cowl pattern and then made it even shorter. So it's not quite so bulky around my neck, but oh, that's cute. Yeah, ah, lovely. That's really cute. Yeah, I nice. love the fringe. That suits you. I know. Yeah, it suits Who knew? You. Who it's knew? Really me and nice. fringe. Thank you. Yeah, so it's very warm and cozy, and you just kind of tuck it up lovely. over your ears when you're scratching ice off the. When you need to get ice <laughs> off the car. You're just like, it's fine. I can do it. It'll be no problem. <laughs> so yeah, so those are my two cowls that I made. So very uh, good. I haven't knit with super bulky in a really long time. Fast. What yeah. size needle did you use? US 17. I don't even know. 17? What, I don't even know what millimeter size that is. I think it's like it. You must have had to go and buy needles. I borrowed it from Dawn from the Code of Oh, I'm okay. Like, anybody have a US 17? <laughs> I don't own one. She's like, I do. And I'm like, fabulous. Yeah. So. That's. Yeah, those mm -hmm. are lovely. And then I finished a pair of socks. Oh, those are pretty. Lovely. Heels included. Hey, they match. Shut up. They always no, match. No, 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 no. That's not what I mean. I mean. <laughs> I meant. Try again. <laughs> okay. Let me say that again. Hold them up again. Adrian, you did your heel in the same color as the sock yarn. It is not a contrast. It is not a toe. Oh, there you go. Okay. That's no. what I meant. Okay. That explains more than it matches. <laughs> Like, yeah, I match to like the millimeter sometime when I knit. So, uh, yes. No. So I decided not to do um, a contrast heel. So I just used the bit of a That's bullseye. Lovely. So it'll be more of a bullseye heel. Not that you're really gonna be able to tell from here. This is not helpful at all. Look at me not being helpful. But it's a bullseye heel. So yes. take your word for it. So this I is bullseye heel. Yeah. Because when you. Look at the actual heel itself. It looks the rings go down to a point at the end of your heel, so it looks like it goes oh, on the rim. Oh, okay. The heel oh, itself. cool. Yeah, she could put it on and model it. Actually, the socks I'm wearing have bullseye heels on them, so but I can't get my foot up here. <laughs> 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 that won't be pretty for anybody, and I probably won't be able to walk for you. <laughs> so, um, this is Nomadic Yarns in the Rhinebeck sweater weather colorway. So this I is like her that. Rhinebeck colorway, probably about three years ago, Me four too. years ago. I finally got around to knitting them. So I'm super, super excited. I'm very happy with them. Love them very much. They're so really yeah. nice. Look at that. Oh, look at that colorway. It's very pretty. Oh, yeah. it's so pretty. Yeah. 
That's beautiful. <sighs> Excellent. Wow, these are three big finishes. I know. Well, mine are going to look pretty piddly. I may have, I don't Five, know any. But... <laughs> Just got the number one. Lovely. Is that dishy? It is dishy. Yep. I would expect nothing less there from Adrian. <laughs> and number two. Also Lovely. dishy. And number three. Also dishy. That's a pretty Number one. four. Ooh. Also dishy. Number five. Not dishy. <laughs> so, someone in the comments, um, I think it might have been on the last podcast or the one before. I don't know. I was paying attention at some point. Ask me how I felt about the... Uh, I love this cotton from Hobby Lobby. Yes. Okay. Because I had picked some up yeah. a while ago. So I finally got around to knitting with it. Oh, okay. So I figured I'd talk about it. Oh. So. So soft. Like, stupid soft. Like, dishy is soft. This is softer. Huh. It's mm -hmm. softer and a little bit sleeker. Um, what I did notice is that the twist on this yarn, it's much looser. Okay. So it gives it the airiness that makes it oh, softer. Okay. Um, so I did find it a little bit splitty when knitting with it. Right. But once knit up, it's lovely, lovely, lovely. Huh. Super nice. So yeah, I really I feel that. It's stupid soft. Oh, it is soft. It's stupid mm -hmm. soft, yeah. Like here. That is substantially softer than dishy. Huh. I know. It is soft. It's stupid soft. I have you could you could feel the yellow. <laughs> Wanna feel the yellow? Yeah, it's exactly. Like, yeah. 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 It's got that little bit of a... And it's a little bit almost slicker. Yeah. It's a little bit... That's nice. Yeah, it's really, really nice. Hmm. So, it's got more drapes So, it. would you ever... Right? So, look. There. Yeah. But Slightly. Would you ever buy more? Is that what you're going to say? I was going to say... I don't to buy any more for the rest of her no, life. No, because she's got cones. Probably not. That's right. <laughs> but I was just going to say, because you, we all know you're in love with Dishy. Uh-huh. What I love has it replaced cotton? your yeah. love? Has it bumped Dishy from the no. top spot? No. no. Okay. I think I like them equally. My question now would be, does that, whatever is in there that makes it feel like that, mm -hmm. does it affect the absorbability? That's a great question. Of it. Is the Dishy more... Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I do know what you mean. And I don't, I don't know, because that's what I think, too, because sometimes when things are soft, doesn't mean yeah. that's necessarily a good thing. Think, it right. feels nice, yeah. but, but the it, functionality yeah. of it, the durability and yes. wearability. So now you'll have to go stuff. home and test it out. Wash some dishes and compare. Do a little video. Set up a camera. <laughs> well, no? Because if, nice. if I do that, then I can't give it away. Oh, yeah. These are for okay. other people. Oh. Other people. Well, that makes sense. I know. Craziness. Well, excellent finishes there, Miss Adrian. And I have an almost finish. Can I show you my almost finish? Yeah, sure. Okay. So you might remember I've been working on these socks for a while. These are my queer fiber. I put a spell on you. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, I so love those. Stripey. I just haven't put it in the heels yet. But the socks themselves are both finished are they, in kitchen they, So they're going to be, what color are the heels going to be? Uh, I'm probably going to put in a full black heel okay. so, all contrasty and stuff so nice. yeah so those are pretty close to my finish yeah. too i was hoping i would get heels in in the last two weeks but that, no i got sick and didn't do it yeah. <laughs> well that's okay i think you did well i think i did okay i think i did okay i, I don't know what i kind of her finishes <laughs> i kind of <laughs> lost my my sock mojo just a tiny bit and so that's why i ended up knitting dishcloths because i was just like oh, i should knit but I... well and two cowls yeah, really. That was over the Christmas holidays, so. Yeah, I, but still. I, I bang those out in like a week. <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes that's really fun to, yeah. you know. To get some finishes. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. So, it was good. I'm uh, quite happy with my knitting. Well, yeah. I, I always wish so. I'd knit more, but I think that's. I think that's all knitters. We're like, look at all we accomplished. Man, I wish I'd gotten more knitting. Yes, done. yeah. And it wouldn't matter how much you've you'd done. still want to. Yeah, like, you'd oh, still, I think I could have gotten more done. More. I know. Yeah. Because yeah. we're selfish like that. Yeah, it's true. Ooh, I'm getting around to my stitch marker. Whee! Maria, Ooh. these are really, this is really pretty. Oh, it's very pretty. That. Looks really nice on the gray sock. Yes, it does. So, yeah, those are my finishes. Lovely. Yeah. Okay, so I'll show you my finishes. All right, then. So I have, I've got some dish cloths because... I'm doing the dishcloth challenge. Oh, the yarn hoarder dishcloth yep. challenge. Okay. So did you guys see on the Fiber Friends? So you know Sam, my friend Sam. Yes. 
right? I you saw, saw that. That was amazing. I know. Yeah. I think everybody. You'll have to describe. So, um, Sam, the last two years, she has done the dishcloth challenge. And she's using her dishcloths to try all different patterns. Most of, a lot of them are cables so at the beginning of the year. Then she switched to illusion knitting. Incredible. So last, like, well, like two years ago, so like 2018, her goal was to get 52 done, which is what Amber from the Iron Harder, that mm -hmm. is her challenge. She get one yep. dishcloth done a week. He ended up with 52 at the end of the year. Mm -hmm. So I think Sam finished up that year with like 63 or some crazy number. Okay. So then this past year for 2019, she was kind of like, oh, I wonder how many I could do. Well, she hit the 52 mark at, in like April. <laughs> so at the end of the year... We counted up, and she sent she sent a couple with three with me to Norway. So there was the final picture. We posted a picture at our knitting group. We put together five tables, five big long tables, and spread them out. She had 185 dishcloths done. That's this incredible. Year. From January 185. 185. And she started this, and she has, and she slowed down because she had um, some wrist problems. She may have to have her surgery again. So wow, she slowed down because <laughs> she was really trying to hit 200. So this year she's aiming for 200 and she says she already has seven done and she's going and she's knitting slow because her wrist is bothering her. Wow. What does anyway. she do with them all? Well, some, some she's going to give us gifts. The others were, hmm, I think I'm helping her on this. Somehow I got roped into this, sewing them together. Oh, and she's going to donate them to oh, animal that's shelters. that's a wonderful idea. Oh, yep. I like that. So they're going to be like small cat blankets. Nice. And the, and donate them to animal I love that. society. I really yep. like yeah. that idea. Yeah. Nice. That's that's really yeah. neat. So this year she has challenged because last year I tried to do the dishcloth challenge and you know I was all gung ho for like the first two weeks. Yeah, <laughs> me too. And then I didn't. Yeah. Any more of this the year. I know. But I, I think, kept buying this year. I don't know how that works. <laughs> I know. It's like, there has, I know. So this year, I am going to, my goal is to get 52 done by the end of the year. One a week. And I am so proud of myself. I am on track. Nice. I know. It's like what, we're run, I have four finished. So my very first one was just a one color brioche. So this is a whole, I, I've talked about this a lot because guess what guys? I started doing my new Start Monday videos again. Nice. And I noticed that. I have got I have got every for January, I've done one every week for January. So I am like feeling all you know, <laughs> new year, new start. You know what you should do is finish Fridays and have a finish every single Friday. I am actually going home and I'm recording a finished Friday today. I'm gonna do a finished Friday once a month. The last Friday yeah, of the month. I that's think not that's a bad idea. I think that's a great idea. Yes. So yeah. I've got four new starts. Yeah. I have one finished video. That's but, okay. You might well, have more than one finish. You never know. Well, that's... You have a lot of yarn. I, oh, Lord. <laughs> I'm putting it... I the, My other goal for this year <coughs> is I'm putting it on, all on Ravelry. And your yarn? Yes. All of your yarn? Yep. And okay. I had... Are you going to go to work? <laughs> well, <laughs> it's cut into my knitting time a little bit, but I thought... I could do this. I thought I can do that. I can have. I'm, I wanted to have all my yarn on Ravelry by June. Ooh. Okay. I don't think that's gonna happen. <laughs> I've. I think I have. Thir I've done thirty-two entries so far. Did you start with the croy? Well, there's some croy. I some croy's in there. This is a, a mammoth-sized project. Yes. I don't... Have you seen your house? <laughs> oh, I know. Well, see, and that's partly why I want to do this, because then I can get it organized. Yeah. Yes. And I keep in I track of idea. what the shelves are. So I've got kind of like the white shelving that you've got there, mm -hmm. right, Caroline? So mm -hmm. every cubby, I'm just calling that a shelf. So shelf one, two, three, four, five, yep. six, seven, eight, nine. And I've got a lot of them. And I've got totes, and I've got drawers, and I've got the basement. So I don't know if it'll happen by June, but I'm going to try to like... keep track. No bowls of yarn in the hallway. <laughs> Have you been in my house lately? Bags of bags of yarn on the doors. <laughs> she laughs because it's true. Because it's true. It's true. But that's yeah. why she's trying to take control of that's the situation. Right. Absolutely. And I totally that's right. support that. I think yes. it's a fabulous idea. So on my finish Friday, or at some point, I don't. I think maybe just finish Fridays. I'm going to say what my total, like my update, my Ravelry, how many different yarns I've got 
in Ravelry now and a ball count just for Ooh. fun. I think that's an excellent idea. Yeah. yeah. And I'll I look be able forward to... to following along with okay. your progress. <laughs> well, that's awesome. I know. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm thinking it's fun now, but. <laughs> that's for again the two months. I know. I don't know. So anyways, so this whole, on my Monday videos, I've been talking about this ball of ash. That is ongoing. I still haven't finished the freaking. Oh, I must have said really bad words. Ooh, sorry. Right, because that's never uh, happened to you Yeah, because you've never said that before. <laughs> I know it sometimes slips out. Anyways, I know, so I'm trying to get rid of all the stash. And Did this she? ball of gray will not friggin' end. Did she? Yes. Did she? So this is Dishy Ash, one color brioche. That's a nice dish cloth. Isn't that yeah, fantastic? Yeah, I like that a lot. I like it. That's nice. Looks like you're going to have to learn one color brioche, my friend. No, thanks. <laughs> I can, it's easy. I don't want to. What? <laughs> or, or you just do this. Hey, yeah. thanks. <laughs> I'm just gonna Ooh. give away her stuff. Okay, mental note. No. Christmas <laughs> present for Caroline this year. There you go. I there would you love go. that. Okay. Yes, thank you. All you're gonna see is Caroline's like eight or ten balls of dishes show up on Lily's doorstep. <laughs> <laughs> With a note. One kind of brioche, please. <laughs> this is really I'm gonna have a little feel of you're this. Sure. Oh, that looks nice. So and this is the granite stitch. Again. Cool. Another dishcloth out like of dishy. Then I did this one. And this is my, I don't know what to call it, my two-handed garter stitch fair isle is kind of what I call it. So it's more, you can, I actually, I've knit a couple of these before. That looks really, really like dense and thick. It's nice. Cause I, ha I actually, I have a couple in my Found kitchen. Found a mistake. <laughs> wow. Someone's not getting one color brooch for Christmas. I think I somebody's going to get lessons. <laughs> I was, I was pulling it. Is there a mistake? Well, probably don't look because it probably is. <laughs> um, oh, it, well, yes, like so you too. can you can use this as a pot holder. Like I've been using yeah. it to pull Ooh. out cookie sheets out of the oven. It's thick enough. Oh, cool. that's nice. So this, as you can tell, that is, would be a good scrubby. That one. It, yeah, it would be. I I like making these. You make it one of those for mm. Christmas too. So that is dishy. I like that a lot. And then there's this one, and I thought I was almost finished dishy, so I thought, oh, I'll stripe it with some of this. I love cotton. Mm -hmm. Um, sunshine is this the yellow colorway, and I would stripe it. Well, the dishy is still going. I still have another <laughs> ball, a little bit. I know. I'm like, so I put it away. It's in time this week. My dishcloth for this week is just all yellow. I couldn't deal with any more gray. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to knit the sucker up. It's going to be gone. Because I'm also going to keep track of how many meters I knit this year. Oh. But I can't keep track until it's actually used. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so this poor ball band is sitting there waiting to go into. I have a nice, a pretty box. I'm going to keep all my ball bands in. And this gray, well, it's sitting there. Because you you it. the yarn yet. keeps going, which is fantastic. You know, if you're buying a ball of yarn and you know you're going to get like three dishcloths out of it. How many, do you get three out of yours? I don't know. I usually just knit one out of each one, and then I get bored, and I pick another <laughs> color. Oh. Anyway, so you definitely get your money's worth. It's going to take me months to get, like, the second one's I, done. <laughs> so those are my dishcloths. Uh -huh. And then I have a scarf. That's a what? pretty. And this was out of my stash. This is going to go in the Christmas box. Oh, so it's that's pretty cool. not only is it. It looks like Neapolitan ice cream. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. It's, it's called Cherry cherry Pit. Cherry Pit? I think that's what it's called. Is it one thing? <coughs> it is one thing. Oh. It is one of those Karen cakes. <clears throat> oh, that's oh, neat. Okay. So it's got, it's 80-20 acrylic and wool. Nice. So yeah, it's not, it's, um, it was nice. And it was fun to knit with. And it is one color brioche. That's cool. That's gonna make that's gonna make a nice gift. It is. Mm -hmm. I like this color pink. Yeah, right there. All the little specklies. Yeah, that's yeah. nice. It's pretty. Oh, really it? nice. Yeah. Look what you did. I know. So this was one ball out of my stash. So it was. I fe it felt like cheating because as I was knitting this, I was halfway through the ball and I'm like, oh, quick, get the ball in my Ravelry. <laughs> so I can get it in there and then I can <coughs> take it out again. Yeah. It counts. Sometimes you need to do that. You need to make a list of things that you've already done just so you That's can check right. them off. That's right. <laughs> Makes so, you feel a but, little bit more accomplished. But uh, so on one hand, I'm feeling good because this is this was a big ball because those big those cakes are fairly mm. big. They're 200 grams, so it's like two balls yeah. really. And then as I was going through, 
I was putting this in the, my Ravelry stash, I found two more the exact <laughs> same color. <laughs> Well, you'll have to knit them the exact same way and then give three people matching, matching scarves. scarves. I could do that because I love doing this one color brioche. This was my TV, my Netflix. I watch, I knit this watching the whole, all seven seasons of Homeland. <laughs> so every time I pick this up, I think about <laughs> one of the episodes. That's funny. Yeah. I love Netflix. So, so this is what I watch because one color, it's yeah. really easy. Slip knit, slip knit, slip knit. Because nice. it's all knit, just what brioche knitting. There's no brioche purling in there. Easy peasy. Mm. I cool. can teach you. Speaking of Netflix. I'll enjoy so. yours. Someone <laughs> should get in trouble. Uh-oh. What See, did you do? I, mine started <clears throat> on Disney+. Plus. We got Disney+, Plus for Nicholas for Christmas. And that's ah. how I found the... Oh, yes. yes. <clears throat> the series. Yes. But then you found the documentary. So, But then I found the series, too. Yes. Because I have Disney+, Plus as well. <laughs> yeah. So I had a whole weekend of it. So I saw on her, was it on her Facebook or Instagram feed or something like that? It was, fa it was on the Off the Grid Facebook, Friday what? Off the Grid Facebook page. She had posted a picture of, you know, how she was stitching and stuff like that and what she was watching, which was this documentary called, or like this episodic documentary yeah. called Pick of the Litter, <laughs> which is about training um, guide dogs for the blind. And she's like, oh, there might be a few tears, but they're happy, blah, blah, blah. Wow. <laughs> Her few tears turns into my waterworks. <laughs> I cry. And I couldn't stop watching it because I had to know what happened. I had to know who made it. And I'm sobbing. Oh, no. Oh. Kleenex flying everywhere. But yeah. you kept watching it? Like you just oh, kept cool. episode You're after welcome. Episode? <laughs> yeah, but because it's following them over the course of their yeah. like their life and their training. Oh. So like from when they were born until until they get handed off to uh, their person. Their person. Um, and so you, you kind of have to know. Yeah. And because yeah. uh, you know not every guide dog turns into an actual guide dog, right? Yeah. They, they yeah. Some don't know, make it. Some don't make the program for a multitude of reasons. Yeah. And so you have to know. Mm -hmm. You got attached yeah. to them, and you had to know. <laughs> so I had to watch. There you go. <laughs> and so I had to cry. And ah, oh, yeah. I know. A whole weekend of crying. <laughs> and I was sick too, so I was like totally dehydrated. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick and sobbing. Oh. It's a beautiful show. Oh, yeah. It was, Pick it was of a the lo litter. lovely show yeah. actually. Pick of the litter. It was actually. It was. It's heartwarming yeah. to see. Yeah. So Maybe much I of it. Should look at that. I watched yeah. a really good movie last night on Netflix. Yeah, it was. It was. It was horses. It was. Oh my god, I loved it. Well, it was, it was sad too, but it do was you, a. Do you have a name? <coughs> I, I don't know do. that one. Try again. <laughs> <laughs> it was called Walk Ride Rodeo. Oh okay. Oh. And Crap, it was. A tr up, must have reminded you about your rodeo. Oh my days. god! Yes, and it was. But it was. It was a true story. It was about this young girl who was in a car accident. So she was a ro she was a rodeo. She was a barrel racer. You're not giving away the whole movie, are you? Okay. Well, in case okay. people want to watch it. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> she had, but the premise is she had an accident. Okay. And, and she's paralyzed. And so it was a true story. And it's about how she went to physio when she recovered. And they said, you have to have a goal, right? You have to have a goal to focus on something positive. And the first things out of her mouth, she's like, well, that's easy. Walk, ride, rodeo. Okay. And they're like, ooh, those are big goals. And she is still, so it was about how she recuperated and and she got back on a horse and started riding and she's still a professional um, rider to this day and she's paralyzed from the waist down. Amazing. Yeah. That's awesome. Incredible. Crazy. And her real, and her actual horse was, it was her horse. Her, oh my God. Beautiful black horse. Her horse was in the movie. Oh, neat. Aww. She did her own, um, so that when they did, you could, you could tell in the clip where it was the actress sitting on the horse, mm -hmm. and then they would show a clip of her actually doing the barrel pattern. Oh, and so you know you okay. can just see the slight difference, what is mm -hmm. actual real footage versus what they filmed. Right. And so she actually did her own stunt. So her actually riding okay. was actually her riding, okay. her horsepower. Oh, power. that's cool. Yeah, so if you like horses, I was just watching. I like, it was good. And it didn't make me cry because it was positive. Right. I totally cry. Right. I know. I yeah, usually cry, but I didn't in this one. And yeah. So. Yeah. I cry yeah. pretty much it everything. Was nice. Yeah. Very cool. I'm yeah. more worried if I don't cry. 
Oh, man. Yes. Okay. So what are we knitting? What are our current works in progress? Oh, works A in lot. progress. Can we start with me? Since yes. I didn't yes. have any finishes. Sorry. And I'm only working on one thing. <laughs> Go, Carolyn. Okay, Carolyn, what are you Big working gray on? gray sock. <laughs> that's your dad. That's your dad's this sock. Is my, these are for my father-in-law. Um, and this is the only thing I have knit on since we last recorded. This is it. Wow. Because I've been stitching a lot. So I have been stitching a lot. And I have accomplished a lot in my stitching life and my sewing life. I've made a lot of bags. I've finished a lot of bags. <coughs> I have not finished any knitting projects. But However, you were very my close. My sock is it's getting there. Um, I don't know, maybe three more inches to the toe, four more inches to the toe. Nice. I'm aiming for a size 11, 11 and a half, 12. He would like it a little roomy. He has size 10 feet. Mm, don't he knit prefers it them a little roomy. So I was gonna knit them to, to size like 11. Longer? He likes. Yeah. He likes. Bunchy toes? What can I tell you? Okay. He always, well, his shoes are always a bit big too. Okay. <coughs> he likes okay. room in his So he doesn't like things shoes. snug around his feet. Correct. Well, then I guess that's what you do. So, I okay. don't know, maybe three more inches? We'll see. Cool. Mm. So this is a Knit Picks, mm. uh, Hawthorne, ha no, Hawthorne Fingering. Hawthorne. Knit Picks Hawthorne Fingering in the, what is it, a kettle dye? Mm -hmm. I don't even know. It's very pretty. Thank you. Just that subtle yep, variation. Yeah, just a little bit of, of variegation there. And uh, we're waving at John. John just came <laughs> in. So. Um, and yeah, so I've been really pleased. So it's it's coming along. And that's great. Thank you. Really I have been dedicated because I want to finish them by the... Be mm. Father's Day? He day? comes home from his overseas vacation at the end of March. So my goal is to have them done when he comes home. Oh, that'll be nice. Okay. So if I pick up anything else, these are not going It'll to get, get done. done. So my Christmas sock is still <laughs> in the bag with my brand new needle. I haven't even, because I knew, I knew that if I cast this on and if I started using my new special needle, that would, that that would, would languish it. and I wouldn't get it done. No. Good so I've been really, so really good. And I only work on this until it's done. So I'm afraid the knitting content for me is going to just be dead boring for the next little while. That's okay. We like seeing socks in progress. Mm -hmm. So thank you. So maybe I can encourage those of you who have similar projects that you just stick you need with, yeah. to stick with and get Plug done. away. So because well, that's how it gets done. Yeah, One just round a little bit here and there. Yeah, a little bit here and there. So all of the interesting stuff will have to come from you guys. <laughs> Well, I think this is very interesting. Well, thank you. It's, thank you. it's gorgeous. And it's way bigger than it was last time. Yeah, it's, um, you know, once you get past the, oh, I've got to do the heel. Oh, no, no, no. The no, heel no. was not nearly so bad this time. Good. I'm getting, you know, because. Of I, course it's not. I know, I know. <laughs> but, you know, you've you've been knitting socks for years I and suppose. years and yes. years. Yes. I've only been knitting socks for just three or four years now. Mm hmm so, and because I like my, my texture to be so dense, yeah, I've got like a 22 row heel, you know, 22 increase yeah. gusset. It takes, yeah. it takes a long, it takes time, a long time, but it it's, does. um, I think I'm, I'm really enjoying them. Good. Nice. I actually That's don't mind knitting on them, thing, right? but I, I am, enjoy. I'm, I'm excited to get, um, to try my new needle. So nice. Looking forward to that. It'll be a reward. Nice reward. That's right. Something to look forward to. Yes, exactly. Nice. Good. What about okay. you, lady? What am I working on? I have a few things. Since I've been starting every, new things on, every Monday. <laughs> so I try to start a dishcloth and something else. So what I didn't... I have a couple things. I didn't bring all of them. But I have this brioche. So I finished... One, this is, an, if, I, if I say what this is going to be, I'm going to, somebody's going to use my own words against me here, <laughs> which I don't like. Oh. It's an Afghan. <laughs> this will be no. interesting. This is. It's a sweater. <laughs> <laughs> is it a sweater? It's this big. No, it's a fingerless mitt. Mm. It's a what? A fingerless mitt. <laughs> it's a fingerless <laughs> mitt. I don't understand. 
What's the problem with that? Oh, haven't you guys heard my, my thoughts on fingerless mitts? Oh, that, that you don't, you don't like, like them? them? No, they're useless, so basically. Right. Anyways. Okay, so that's See, what I you shouldn't say waiting. that. That is my personal... So I know why other people are you making them. fingerless mitts? Well, because, just for my classes, it's an it's oh, a easy... Okay. Right? When you yeah. learn how to do two-color brioche, then... So you're using it. You're using, you know, you're a user of the fingerless <laughs> mitt pattern. <laughs> Well, me, I'm trying to embrace the positivity that a I user will... and a Portuguese knitter pusher. <laughs> <laughs> That's both, me. Both true. User and a both pusher. Both true. Both yeah. true. Well, I'm thinking that me, I mean, everybody loves fingerless mitts, except for me, apparently. I, I don't know. I have a few pairs and I, I like the concept of them, but I never grab them. You always go for mitts. I always go for mitts. Yeah. Well, I know. See, and I do too. But I thought, well, this way you don't have to worry about decrease. It's just, it makes it, it, it makes it's, it. Yeah, you're right. It, it would be a good tool. It's a good, yeah. yes, that you can actually learn and work on a little pro instead of just having a square that you pull mm -hmm. in and do nothing with. You can sew it up and you can make a fingerless mark right. of it, right? So I have one done at home. So this is the second one that I'm working on. Using two balls out of my stash. Patton's, awesome. Patton's classic wool. I have, I like that gray. Nice. And yeah, this is Mercury. I have a lot of this. <laughs> I have, I bought bags. <laughs> I just, just, well, oh, in case you were worried, I was using it my very so last it, fall of it. It, it may, may save you some time to only indicate to us when you don't have multiples of a yarn. <laughs> We will just assume <laughs> that everything has multiples yeah. unless told otherwise. otherwise. Okay, okay, let's I only do that. These. What? what? I know. Okay, let's do that. Caked up. Oh, okay, okay. that's better. <laughs> so, two color brioche. Fun. Using up Quick. stash. Using up stash. I'm going to have a, a pair of fingerless gloves that I will embrace and I will use them. Or they'll end up in your gift box. That's right. <laughs> For somebody say, else who loves them. Just put them in the gift box. Yeah. I just may just do that. Stop trying to fit yourself into a, you know, fingerless yeah. square box. peg just... into a fingerless box. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> You're right. I'm just not a fingerless person. Then that's okay. Okay. So this here is going to be this yarn. This. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Look at this. So it's a ball of marble that I bought. Marble. It's marble. It's, um,. Yeah, that's the name of the yarn. Okay. Bye. From where? <sighs> Don't give me that dirty look. Yeah, you're it's the one that's on, on, the, on the tip. I know. I haven't put this one on Ravelry yet. It's on the tip. <sighs> J.C. Brett or something like that. Where's it from? Lens Mills. Oh, okay. Mm. okay. It's just. Is it's, it 100% acrylic? It's 100% acrylic. Okay. Because I bought this for my daughter a few, like maybe. What are you making? Six years ago. It's going to be, it's going to be a sweater. It's going to be a sweater. So I've done, I've got my gauge swatch done. I was about to say, I'm like, mm -hmm, it might be a little small. Do you have but another ball? It's a gauge swatch, that's good. Do you have several I th more? I thought, I thought we were assuming that. <laughs> <laughs> Unless stated otherwise, <laughs> the assumption is there is All more right. than one. All right, okay. I have enough for a sweater. Do you have enough for two sweaters? <laughs> no. Okay, I, just no, one Just one, just one. All right, so you've sweater done your the, gauge the swatch. I've done my scarf. gauge swatch, and why I'm laughing is because I'm doing all these starts. I'm having a hard time finding needles. <laughs> well, for your gauge swatch. Yeah, so I had to find, I, awesome. had, I had needles, but I had no cable. So I think this is a... Like a 47 inch cable. <laughs> oh, it's, I think it's a 60. Nice. Look at, I know, I have a little that's an Afghan. cable overkill yeah, that's here. that's an Afghan needle. But that's yeah. awesome. But you know, it you works. Use, use what you have. It so works. it's just a little fiddly pull in stuff out. But yep. it's okay. Uh, so I've got that on the go. And I'm really excited to show you this, Caroline. Mm. I know what this is. Okay. What's this? I think this was a suggestion from Dawn from Codependent Knitters about <gasps> my... Oh! Does the shape look familiar to you? Oh, it's a European road trip shawl. Yes. With your croy. With some croy, my stretchy. That is an croy. excellent idea. Yep. Stretchy croy. Stretchy croy. Oh, so good it's, lord. It's... <laughs> I've never what? seen stretchy Have croy. It, well, I know. And there's, they just, it's not for sale, I wonder. So don't get too excited. I, cause I almost have it. <laughs> uh, and it is now discontinued. I don't think, somebody left me a comment on my YouTube channel and said that, they, cause I took a picture 
did I just do a picture or anyway she's she just said oh my god she said I had that and gave it all away because she did not like it <laughs> Louise is like, I can't I remember got it. if it was Jill <laughs> I know I'm like yeah I think it came to me and I'm thinking yeah well maybe that's what maybe that was the general Hold my beer <laughs> I got this <laughs> So I'm thinking that she was right and probably in the majority because I don't think it was on the market very long and then they discontinued it. So I'm thinking most people So you were... decided to knit a shawl with it. It's... Well, I, I like know. it. Are you laughing at me? Well, always. I'm but, laughing but with you. But that's a given, so... <laughs> You're so funny. It's just the way you say it. Well, everybody hated it. They discontinued it. But I'm going to knit a shawl with it. Well, I really like I it. I can see why. It's a, don't you think it's, so you don't funny. like it? I love it. See, I, I know. Yeah. Do you want to feel I'm it? I'm not sure I would want to knit with it. Oh, well, I don't. <laughs> Only because it feels weird. It feels like, weird. No, it's got cotton. So it's a cotton and wool blend. Let me let me correct what I just said. The shawl doesn't feel weird. But it... The yarn running when, through When If your it hands? was running through my fingers to knit it, I think it would, oh, I think it would yeah. irritate my fingers. Oops, try. It's lovely. I don't know why they discontinued it. Well, I'm She's not like, going like to knit it, with it like anyways because it. <laughs> it's your yarn, and I think Very your cool. shawl. I think your shawl is going to be beautiful. Very I, cool. I put yeah. this in my Ravelry stash. How many of those do you have? We I know have, there's multiple. Well, in this this colorway is licorice. I have 24 balls of it. What? Why? You have 24 balls of that. What? Why? One. Why? One colorway. Don't why? you don't. can make like ten European road I, trip. I balls. know. Well, that's why I'm not concerned about. Is this the first ball? Yes. Okay. And I'm not worried. Okay. About how many <laughs> balls I I'm not use. worried. I'm not. I'm not gonna run out. I'm not gonna run out. And I think that's an excellent why? idea. <laughs> well, she must have forgotten that she bought it, or maybe she bought it to make a fingering weight afghan. <laughs> okay, that I'd buy. <laughs> <laughs> so well then you know what i'm just going to tell you guys this anyways that in a different colorway i have a sweater practically done out of this because i thought i bought all of it because i thought it would make nice sweaters it would make a nice sweater actually it, think about i know you know oh the stretch on it would be really nice for a yeah. sweater and you have a sweater almost done yes why don't you finish it Will I you bring it next time? I can. Yeah. Bring it next time because I'd like to see it and I think you should work on it and I, finish it. <coughs> well, I will finish I will finish it because our guild is doing a finish your projects. You're also doing finish Friday and I'm doing finish Fridays. Yeah. And but the only downside to finishing this sweater is I started it many years ago and there's no way it will fit me. It'll fit somebody. It'll fit somebody. Somebody, not me. Or, That's neat, but I know I, I like that. I love this yarn. Nice. Well, I'm very, very happy. happy with it. And that's the most important thing. <laughs> that is twenty-four balls. <laughs> now those. <laughs> Sorry. Are those twenty? So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm regretting. I said that. <laughs> Are just... those twenty? Now wait a sec. Yes. You have 24 of these. Yes. Now the sweater that you're knitting, is it with those 24 or is it a different color? In addition to. It's a different color. Oh, okay. Yes. And how many skeins of that do you have left to finish the sweater? I don't know. I don't, actually, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, let, well, let's hope I didn't use them all. Oh, you could add a few stripes. <laughs> I could. That's right. I have some, I have... I have a few colors of this stretch. I have white, I have black, I have a different color, another shade of black, I do believe. But you see, and now you're the one laughing so. because it's discontinued. I know. And you have lots. And I have all of it because and you are so rich. I am. In the patent stretch This socks. is uh, wealth. That's right. Wealth personified. Wealth, exactly. This is why you have a stash. So in this My situation. My brain is stuck on why. <laughs> Because she likes it. <laughs> I like it. Because she likes it. I like lots of things, just not 24 balls worth of... Really? 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 But not in the same colorway. Well, <laughs> fine, not in the same colorway, but you have more than 24 of some things. Oh, yes. Well, Louise has... No, no, I don't have more than Dishy. 24. Dishy. Dishy. <laughs> but not in the same colorway. Because you have 24 of this, plus you have how many other colors? 
So how many balls in total? Okay, you have? let's stretch. I don't now know. I'm gonna we'll I'm see. gonna we'll pop see. in and defend Louise here. Thank just you for a second <laughs> because I can relate, but not with yarn fabric. No stitching. Crafting. Stitching. Okay. With stitching, because and I think I think I understand the mindset here because and and you do too in a way. Okay. Okay. Because okay, I can't wait to hear we this. love big projects. Yes. Big projects, right? So Louise super loves big projects. <laughs> so when she sees something that she likes, she doesn't envision a pair of socks. She oh, no. always envisions an afghan. Yeah. <laughs> and so So true. <laughs> she always envisions the afghan and it's not maybe not necessarily going to be the afghan, but in your mind it's like, "Oh my god, I have I'm to have make enough this. to do that." And I have That's to have right. enough because it's that feeling <coughs> of if I run out, I'll be really upset. Flat. Yes. Because I'm the same with floss. When I'm kidding up a project, yeah. I always buy at least two or three extra skeins. Yeah. yeah. And that's floss. This is yarn, which goes a lot faster. So you think, that's... well, I really don't want to run out. And if I want to make that really mess, I, I can understand the mindset. It's tough to get past that. Because obviously yeah. you don't need 24 skeins. But... <laughs> I get it. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Yes. Mm. That's true. However, right. you okay. don't need to buy any more. <laughs> <laughs> You're good. I am not. Well, no. Nope. You have a two four of yarn in the same color. <laughs> <laughs> See, don't. I think that should be everybody's goal. Let's <laughs> have a two four of yarn. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, see, that's why I'm telling you, I just have this feeling that 2020, this is the year. It's the year to get it together. It is. You know, it's funny because in 2019, <laughs> we were going to get our shit together, too. I'm pretty sure we are going to do that in 2018, too. I know. <laughs> yes. But yeah. I think that was just warm up. I feel really, tr I truly feel this is, the, at least for me, this is going to be my year. Yeah. This is going to be the year that the last 50 years have been warming up for. <laughs> I love it. I'm finally, you know what? That, and that's a good feeling, right? It's a great feeling to have that yes. it's never too late. That's Just right. Turn a fresh page. Mm -hmm. Yep. And I, I like to feel like that throughout the year because I don't necessarily need yeah. to wait for New Year's. It's just like each it was day, just, fresh page, new start. Yeah. It just seemed try again. to coincide with New Year's. That yeah. It just all, that's right. That's good. Yeah. I like it. I know. Ooh, good so for I'm going to keep, I know. Good for you. Go with it. I've got a month in. So far, so good. <laughs> so far, so good. Everything's on the up. Yeah. Everything's on the up. Everyone's because, on the, everything's yeah. on the upswing. It's all, yeah. I'm, nice. I'm feeling super positive. Nice. Uh, it's going to be good. I so love is it. that, I that's what, those are your whips. Yeah. Okay. I have, yeah. I have a pair of socks too. And Are they here? No. Okay. But you yeah. can show them next time. I can show them next time. All right. Because I'll have lots of things. So pair, speaking of socks, um, you had mentioned before privately to me. <gasps> yes. That Louise is about to start or has started another pair of socks. And she is going to start posting again on our other Facebook group, which is Learn How to Knit Socks with Us. And if we remember, we'll put a link in the drop-down yeah. box below. Or just head over to my channel. All the videos are over there. Yep. Um, and uh, so not necessarily like, like a, a knit-along or a cow. It's not a knit-along, but, but just because there's a lot of first-time sock knitters in that group. Mm -hmm. So I've just, all I, I've just cast on and just done a little bit of ribbing. So, and it's been over a year since we did those videos mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and there's a lot of new people joining the group and this gives us, gives you a way to sort of help walk people through those yeah. steps again. So yes. what I'm doing, and I hope it will be done by the same time this weekend when this video is posted, my super simple cup down sock pattern. Mm -hmm. I am updating it. Oh, okay. What? Why? Yep. Do I have to learn a new pattern? No, no. Okay. I just it's the pattern is staying the same. I'm just adding an extra size in. Oh, oh okay. nice. I'm like going that. one size smaller because a couple people had said it was too big. The 68 was a little 66 Floppy. stitches was a little big on them, so they were going to go down a needle size, mm. which is doable. Mm -hmm. So I'm I'm just writing in a, for a 64 stitch sock. Good. Okay. So I'm just figuring out the numbers. Um, for that, for the heel flat, for the heel turn. Right. Okay, and then cool. I will update it on Ravelry. So everybody who already has the pattern will get, the we'll get it. Yeah. We'll get yes. the update and then it'll be there going forward for anybody else who this buys is the pattern. This is a 72 yeah. stitch sock. And I had to 
puzzle out the yes, kale flour. and it is in there because <clears throat> those numbers for Gerald they they're, they're put in them there in now. for Gerald, right? Yeah, yeah. That's so right. it's all it that those yes because you had like the very first rough draft of the pattern. Yes. So I'm gonna I I will give you okay. an updated copy. Thank you. Thank you very much. So you have, we'll have all three sizes in there. So awesome. that's what I'm working on. And once I just, I'm just going to test knit those numbers I have for all 64, 68, and 72 to make sure they're okay. all good. And then I will update it on Ravelry. Perfect. And then Ooh. I will link to the pattern and I will start doing regular, like at least weekly videos of the process through all the steps. And I will link to your videos on your channel okay. so people can just refresh and nice. rewatch. Cool. Awesome. Good stuff. Yes. Mm -hmm. fun. And I'll get a pair of socks done. So I'll have, look at that. I'm going to have it finished day already for next, part, <laughs> next podcast. I shouldn't say that because I'm going to jinx myself. Yeah, you just did. Totally. <laughs> oh, well, that's not going to surprise anybody. What are you working on over there, lady? Got a few Ooh, bags. She's got, Actually, I always love it. Bags. Sometimes two. we should do switch Only the two. camera around and get an angle. When we podcast, <laughs> Adrian has the neatest little selection of bags. That you guys can't see. So I only have two projects right now that I'm working on. So only I, two. Well, I need to finish the heels on the, that sock. Mm -hmm. Um, and then this is. That is a cute bag. Such a cute yeah. bag. That's oh, it's best thing. That's things. our friend Dawn. Yep. Is that like almost Christmassy? No. It, well, it's it has, wintry. It's hot. It's chocolate. wintry. It has candy canes yeah. on it. But hot chocolate. So that's fun. Oh, that's so nice. Ooh. Oh. So this really is nice. hot cocoa by Queer Fiber. So I'm just working oh, on a, oh, a like cuff that. and working on So the name of your sock yarn is hot hot cocoa and you have a bag. Yeah, I know. I just done it on purpose. Of course you do. You know, that's how I roll. Because it has to match yep. match. So I love it. Do you remember at the beginning of December I kinda went all oh, Crazy crazy and started like nine new pairs of socks. Oh, uh, yeah. So now I'm working on one of them. <laughs> <laughs> that's really nice. Yeah. So that's good. Um, that's really, I yeah. like that colorway. Yeah, I'm really excited about it. I, It's just kind of, it's super subtle with little pops of red and kind of outside my normal wheelhouse. So that's kind of fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm working cool. on that one. And then. Ooh. Pretty bag. Pretty bag. Zigzag stitches. No, this is. Oh, Cheryl, my needle nope. press, right? Oh. No, oh. this is Twisted Daisy stitches. Oh, oh sorry, Twisted Daisy fibers. Um, <clears throat> Very nice. She That's was pretty. out in Alberta. I think she's moved, and I think she lives out east now. Oh, okay. Yeah. So anyway, this is one of the first bags I bought off Etsy. Off Etsy. Uh oh. Back in the day before this I was one of the knew all these bag <laughs> So this was my hotel knitting when I went to um, I went to VKL in January. Yeah. So this is my hotel knitting because I have to think about it a little bit more. Oh. Hey, where'd oh, that that's go? That's lovely. Can I borrow your fingers? Yes. This just reminded me. I I had something because I stuck it in my new bag. Yeah. <clears throat> there we go. <clears throat> that's yeah. really pretty. This so, is nice. This is Hugh Loco. This is. Mm. Do you want to feel? Look mm -hmm. at fuzzy. Mm. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Ooh, pretty. Nice. Wow. So yeah. pretty. So this is extra extra special because this is um, uh, merino cashmere silk blend oh. with the mohair. That is really nice. Yes. So the regular Deluxe. yarn is called hoarfrost is the colorway. And then on the... Um, Mohair, it's called the Kelpster, and so this was actually um, yarn I bought together at Woodstock two years ago. Mm -hmm. um, I remember you guys all running to see yes, and I had just like a handful. <laughs> yes, and they're like, "Which one are you taking?" I'm like, "All of it." <laughs> I can't put it down. Um, yes. Yeah, so I'm doing a Hitchhiker Beyond with that one. Yes, so, you yeah. are. You know, in this, my poor my I don't know what happened to my ball here. It got all Louised. <laughs> well they don't usually look like this but i have literally just cast on there are four Five, stitches on here four stitches i'm not sure that counts <laughs> <laughs> it's on the needle because this is going to be a hitchhiker oh, oh nice. yeah all right fine i'll let it count <laughs> 
this so, is yeah. nice. Nice, thanks. Which made me think because we were talking about who all had done Hitchhikers and some people had said they had done Hitchhiker Beyond and mm -hmm. I'm like, I have never done a Hitchhiker Beyond. But I think this will be a Hitchhiker then maybe I'll use another skein of something. Cool. Yeah, I like the Hitchhiker Beyond because of the, it's a little bit more symmetrical, mm -hmm. and I, I like it. So, yeah. So that's good. One of my goals this year is to start less things and actually finish a few things that are already on the, I'm not going to say I'm not going to start anything, because that mm -hmm. would just be crazy talk, and you know I'd have to break exactly. that. But I'm going to aim to finish some things that have been on my needles for uh, a few years. So. But see, my theory is you can't start it if you don't finish it. You can't, you can't, no, 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 I said that backwards. <laughs> like, what? We're all like, huh? Try that again. That makes sense to me. You can't finish it if you don't you can't start finish it. it if you don't start it. Right. Yeah, so but you I have to start. Yes, but if you keep starting, you'll never finish, finish anything. anything. That sounds like Asa now. <laughs> it doesn't like you. Yes, but she's <laughs> right. Well, I know. <laughs> she's always right. That's the problem. <laughs> she's our cookie. She is. So, yeah, so you I'm, should, um, I'd love to see your tin can knits sweater yeah i actually i didn't bring it with me i actually did pick up stitches on the arm and i started knitting it and my tension is different in the round than it is flat oh because of all the purling and because curling. of the weight of the um yeah the actual body of it so it makes my stitches a little looser when i was knitting so what i need to do is rip out what i've done i've only knit like go up a needle and, and i have to go up a needle yeah, okay but it's going to be beautiful. Yeah, the God. yarn is yeah. so gorgeous. Yeah. So we're working on it. Maybe you and I'll have our sweaters finished at the same time. I have my little piece sweater that I'm finishing. Yeah. Don't don't hold your breath for me. Okay. <laughs> we make no promises. That's okay. right. It'll no, be done. no, no, no knitting promises. It'll be done when it's I do done. not want to disappoint anyone, and I don't want to disappoint myself. It, yeah. And sometimes no, no. you have to be in the right mood, and sometimes I'm just not in that kind of mood. That's totally true. That's absolutely true. I was in a weird dishclothy mood, and like next thing you know, I'm like crank, 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 out go five. There you go. And I haven't knit dishcloths in months, and then all of a sudden I'm like, wee. <laughs> but you get, yeah, but that's what's fun, right? That's why we do what we do because yeah. we have so many variety and yeah, yeah, exactly. Because I am not, I get like that with socks. Like you knit crazy amount of socks and I, socks don't excite me like that. <laughs> and I have to be in the mood to think, oh yeah, I think My I'm My sock in, collection right pair. now is such a lovely size. Like I just did some laundry last Last weekend, or when I was sick, so like on the Monday. Sock laundry. Sock laundry. I did real laundry last night. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I have ten pairs drying in my yeah. in my kitchen, and I still have four or five pairs nice. in my drawer. So nice. I'm like, oh, I only have to do sock laundry like once every like three weeks. It's awesome. <laughs> Instead of like when I first started knitting, I'm like, what's a week? I'm like, can I wash more? <laughs> so yeah, it's really lovely. That is nice. And now I have more options for color coordinating with what I'm knitting <laughs> or with what, what I'm wearing. wearing. And sometimes I just say, screw it, whatever's clean. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, you're I think lucky they're clean. I think there's different rules for hand knits, you know, that they don't necessarily have to match, match. I right? totally agree. Like, yeah. you know, it doesn't matter what you're wearing. You're like, oh, here's a hair pair of hand knit socks. Yeah. I can yeah. put them on. Absolutely. Yeah. So if I want to, I can match, but I don't have to. That's right. I, I like having options. Good like to have that. options. Yeah. That's I exciting. Agree. <coughs> yep. Okay. All right. Acquisitions. Yeah. I, now this I want to see. I have none. I have none. And I'm I'm hoping that I sit out of this segment more than I'm joining in. Like we said before, don't make promises. I know. I'm not I'm not saying But for never. today. For today, you have it's, no. It's not until like we go away, like I'm on vacation or something. Mm -hmm. I'm not just buying, you know, oh, those, mm -hmm. oh, that's pretty. I need it to buy 24 of them. That's not happening anymore. Mm -hmm. Or, well, as much. Th as much. Has not happened for the month of January. That's good. Right. Yes. Although, I, Let's see I, I am going to call Caroline Liar Liar Pants on Fire. What? Did you buy something? Oh, those don't count. They totally count. Oh, <laughs> what? Oh, you have... oh yeah. Yay! Oh! Sock Club of the Month? Sock yeah, Club. This is Lady November, Roxy? Yeah, November Ooh, and December. I've yeah. been holding on to them. For Thank ages. you. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay. This was like another Christmas present for you. And I did remember at the beginning of this, actually. I So, uh, yes. Okay. I have I have two acquisitions, but I paid for these last year on my birthday, which was in July. 
So these so are the last. So it feels like two. freebies. <laughs> yeah, yes. I feel I I pay. You. They're free. Uh, don't tell that to John. <laughs> like, well, I don't think that's how it works. No, this was, my, this was my birthday present from last year. Yeah. And these are the last <gasps> two skeins. So, okay. One of them, uh, I saw on the codependent knitters. I can't remember which one. I think it was December's. So I don't know which one is which here. I don't know either. I can't so, help you. All right. So, spoiler alert. <laughs> it's okay. I think we're far enough along. At the end of January. <laughs> most people should have opened theirs by now. <laughs> this is how little I go to uh, yarn stores. Okay. What is in here? Ooh, cool. Ooh, this must that's have been. Pretty. Yeah, this was the last one because they're, they're trying to get me to sign up for the next one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, this is December. So, I've that's opened these pretty. backwards. Oh, that is kind of neat. There's some, oh, Christmas morning tea. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> and, oh, a Kitchener Stitch oh. keychain. That's <coughs> candy. Mm -hmm. That's that handy. that with you. And, actually, these are kind of cool. I like that. I'm not sure about the green. It's a little out of my wheelhouse. It does go nicely with the yarn because you there's little pops it. of it in there. But, you know, I'm not adverse to going out of my wheelhouse every now and then. There you go. So, yeah, that was yeah. the December 2019. See, That's this is why I don't need to buy more yarn because I... I can't even finish a gray sock. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, but you are making good progress. <gasps> uh oh What's oh, she this? likes this one. This one is like oh, right up your alley. It is. Oh, oh Ooh. God, look at this. Okay, lemon ginger tea. Yum, yum. Oh, this nice, is nice, nice. Beautiful. That's nice. That this is, is beautiful. And like there's a, a lovely little stitch mark. Periwinkle. Right oh my gosh, yeah. that is gorgeous. Nice, nice. I love this. This this is me. This is me. Oh, yeah, with that dark and the yeah. So, light. Show them this part. They didn't yeah. couldn't see it. Look at that. Yeah, look That's at that. lovely. A little little surprise. Yeah. Nice, nice. Okay, so now I'm at the end of my subscription, and I have to say. I don't know that I would do another club subscription where it's a surprise only because my tastes are so specific of what I love, 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 love. And what I'm like, Oh, well, that's okay. Mm -hmm. Um, and I don't buy a lot of yarn anymore. Mm -hmm. And so from now on, I don't need any more yarn. And so I think, but I fun. love Leo and Roxy yarn. Mm. So I would definitely, I would definitely buy their yarn again for sure. Um, the quality is excellent there, and they're nice people. Um, you know, they're they're lovely people. Mm -hmm. Their yarn is amazing, but I don't think I'd sign up for another surprise club. Yeah, fair enough. And it was the same with linen when I ordered. A, I belonged to a, a fabric of the month club for three months. And I only loved one of the three months. Mm, the yeah. other two months were kind of like, I don't know what I'm going to stitch on that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So, and so I have to say that this probably was more successful than that because three of the six skeins, three of the three of the months I absolutely loved, like loved couldn't well. have done better. Mm -hmm. Loved, loved, loved. So 50% loved, loved, loved a hundred percent. Two of the months, I was at like 75, which is pretty mm -hmm. good. And then I think there was one month where I'm like, I don't think I'm going to, uh, it would it's be really not... unusual for me to knit it. Mm -hmm. I don't even remember which one it was, but it was one of the earliest ones. Yeah. So, you know. But is there somebody you could use it as gift? Oh, definitely. Right? Definitely. Yeah. So I think that's definitely. If you look at it that yeah. way. No, for sure. There's always somebody, right? But Your moving mom forward, or... knowing yeah. that I am actively trying to not. Yes. I only want to purchase to support dyers, but I also want it to, you know, have a home. 
Yeah. And yeah. not just, you know, be wasteful. So. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Anyway. All right. So I guess I did have acquisitions. You did? You did get two new things. That's kind of exciting. So yeah. I picked those up for you back in December. It was actually the day we podcast. I went. Oh, okay. That's that right. Yeah. I had, there was an event that night. Oh, I lied. I did what? buy something. I just don't have it yet. You I was supposed to bring else? it to you. I forgot. I'm getting it tonight. Oh, are you? Yes. The Codependent Knitters. Dawn's going to the concert. Oh, is she? That's yes. Nice. I didn't know that. Yes. Um, well, she's from Winnipeg, and so she knew. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to see the Crash Test Dummies tonight. Yay! That's exciting. In concert. Uh, Codependent Knitters put out a pre-order special dyed uh, sock yarn from Timber Yarns. Yes. And, and it's the Codependent Knitter colorway, and I had to buy. I had to buy that. I mean, of course, I had to buy the Codependent Knitter yarn. So uh, that I did buy, and I'm getting it tonight. That looks a lot like this. Adrian. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it looks like. I did buy that, so yes. I'm a big liar. And it looks nice because I saw Lisa's finished socks. Oh, they're it's just beautiful. And yarn. it's lovely. It is beautiful, beautiful yarn. Timber yarn is so, gorgeous. Yeah. Now I don't think you can get it anymore, though. I think that there's there's, there's a possibility, there's a they, possibility might order, they might bring it back, but not right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we'll keep you apprised of the situation. Yeah. And I even got my gobstoppered by Dawn. <laughs> oh, she did a nice job. I know. That was really good. I took it with me to VKL just in case I needed more knitting. I did not. How many, pro <laughs> how many projects did you take with you? I took two pairs of socks. Three pairs of socks. And this is hotel knitting. Yeah. So. For how many days? Five days. Sounds good. Oh, it's fine. It's all good. It's all good. So this was one of my acquisitions. So I picked up the mm -hmm. uh, Codependent Knitters colorway. So that's that one. So as I was saying, I uh, I had picked up yours. And as I was wandering around Little Red Mitten, somehow <laughs> things jump into my arms. And I don't know why. Amazing how that happens. So for some reason, this had to come home with me. Oh. oh. Oh, look at the green. That's so it's all really green a light speckly. speckle. It's like blues and greens and a little bit of yellow. And, That's yeah. nice. That looks like a St. Patrick's Day cast on. Quit picking my cast ons for me. Really. <laughs> <laughs> and then I don't know why. I'm still totally addicted to mohair, which is totally dumb. I don't know why I needed this. That's beautiful. But I picked it up because it was pretty. This mm. is called Daydream. Sorry, this one must have a name too. It's called Ivy Cake. Huh? Those are really nice. Yeah. So yeah. So that's mohair. 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 Beautiful. You can never have too much mohair. Well, you know what? You might change your mind after I finish showing off uh -oh. all my acquisitions. Um all right. and then, it's hard so to I went to Vogue Knitting Live in New York yes. City yes. in January a couple mm -hmm. weeks ago. So you're expected to make some purchases yes. there. Yes, uh, but I was pretty good. Mm -hmm. I was pretty good. Um, so before we actually went to the conference, we had a, a day or two of sightseeing and stuff like that and saw some cool stuff. I survived the New York City subway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank goodness there were other people navigating it for me, so I just had to be like, get on, get off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we went down to the 9-11 memorial. We spent like three hours there. It was Amazing. Was it? I can't say it was great, but because of what it was, but it was it was intense and it was very emotional and just it was it was uh, nice to remember. That sounds really mm -hmm. weird, mm -hmm. but it was. It's a beautiful memorial. Yes, it yeah. was a beautiful memorial. Yeah. So that yeah, was very cool. So uh, after we went to the memorial, we we went to Pearl Soho. Oh, you got a bag. So I picked up. A French field bag in gray. Very nice. Yeah. And then I bought a few things. <laughs> just, just, of course, we would expect nothing just, less. Just three. Just three. Ooh. Just three. Ooh. That's pretty. I, I touched it and then it didn't leave my hand again. I don't <laughs> know, I, what am I going to do with it? No idea. Is it pretty? Absolutely. So it's just, so this is the Pearl Soho brand in their Tussock. 
So it's sixty percent super fine kid mohair and forty percent silk. So it's wow. like stupid soft and lovely. That but, is nice. Yeah, it's such a pretty. Well, see, pretty and you blue. can't leave it there because when are you going to be back uh, in, exactly. in in their store? Exactly. So, I yeah. look at that as a souvenir for sure. It is it's beautiful. Souvenir. Now I have to find the perfect thing to do for yes. it. Yep. And it's okay if it takes me a while to figure what yeah. what that is. Agreed. Yep. Then I went to Vogue Knitting Live, and I took a class, and I went to a lecture, and that was all fun and good. Nice. What um, class did you do? I did a sweater success class with Patty Lyons. Oh, cool. oh nice. Yeah. And then I went to a lecture with Stephen Berg of Stephen B., the shop in Minneapolis. Mm. He's uh, a little more extravagant in his fashion choices, which was totally fun to watch and listen to him talk about how he knits and how he makes choices and stuff like that. So that was very cool. Mm -hmm. And then we spent quite a bit of time wandering the uh, the marketplace, which yeah. was, we went the Friday night and it was a bit of a zoo. Like it was just people everywhere. And you're right. just like, whoa. Ho, ho. Um, and it's, it's fun, but at the same time, like, like I thought knitters were nice. And people were just, like, literally running people over. <laughs> like, I must have gotten pushed and shoved, and I'm like, excuse me, pardon me, ow. Oh, really? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, it's kind of surprising, but. Because it was just that so many busy. People it's there. so much, I think there's just too much excitement. Yeah. People are so amped up that they're like, yarn! <laughs> and I don't blame them. It was beautiful <laughs> yarn, but uh, not sure that's how I like to shop. Yeah. 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 Like I like yeah. to go to Woodstock and Woodstock feels busy, but this was crazy. A little bit crazy. busier. Yeah. Okay. And apparently it was quieter than in previous years. And really? I still thought, oh, wow. oh no. no. Wow. Okay. <laughs> not not my favorite way to shop, but that's okay. So I did find this little place. It's called Little Fox. And I bought Did you have certain places like vendors you knew were gonna be there that you've never seen before that you Yeah, I had a few that I went and checked out and, and some that I had never heard of before mm -hmm. and I just kind of I was waiting in the first two or three visits I didn't buy anything. Like I did like whole sweeps just of watched. like all the floors and didn't buy anything. And then and then I was like, Okay, now I can let things kind of jump out at me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I was you've trying very hard not to be as impulsive as I usually am. Right. So I found this place called Little Fox. And so this is a skein of... Oh, that's beautiful. 80% superwash merino, 20% silk, called Crushed Violet. Mm. Oh. Isn't that nice? Yeah. And with it is going to go... Oh. Oh. <laughs> so mohair, <laughs> this is called Loganberry. Ooh. So I wow. look at the shades of I that know, mohair. isn't it lovely? So I do not own a pussy hat and I think I need one. Oh sweet. So yes. I'm gonna make myself beautiful. Pink pussy hat. Yeah. <laughs> there you so, go. Perfect. Yeah. Yes. And then for some reason I, you're gonna see a trend. Mohair. Um <laughs> this mohair spoke to me as well, which is really Similar to Similar yeah, but lighter one. too. Yeah. Let's compare. This oh, one's well, definitely I totally lighter. see why you needed two. Of yes. course. This one's not the same. This one's lighter. This holy moly, feel that. Yeah. And this one's seventy two oh, percent yeah. mohair, twenty eight percent silk. So and that one's forty percent silk. Like so yeah. the, even the texture is really, really different. Yeah. So look at those two together. I know. Wow. Jewel tones, jewel tones everywhere. Very nice. So I like that one. And then I went to uh a place I've actually bought her yarn before, like through Etsy. Mm -hmm. Um, but I just kind of fell in love, and she saw on our on her name. This is history. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> on her name tags, it said our location, so it showed where you were from. And she's like, "You're from London," and I'm like, "Yeah." And um, I guess her yarn is based down in Cleveland. She's like, "You're just across the lake from me." I'm like, "Oh yeah, okay, yeah." <laughs> and so she was really excited. So she showed me these. So these are some stitch markers that are Great Lakes based. So there's like, they're oh, cool. they're um they're wood with like the burnt out mm -hmm. designs on them. And so there's like from a laser cutter, right? Yes, yes. yes. And so it's got, like, a map of the Great Lakes and stuff like That's that on them. That's cool. So really pretty. She goes, you might like these. And I'm like, I totally would. She goes, yeah, nobody else here cares. But when I took these as st stitches Midwest, everyone went gaga for them. I'm like, of course they would. That totally makes sense. So, yeah, I was really excited about these. So that was really fun. And then, so I picked up some more of her yarn. So I picked up this. This is a DK 
100% superwash merino in Mediterranean. Wow. And I think that will look really good with this. Oh, yeah. yes. Oh. That might be a hat. That looks or lovely. Mitts or something. It'll, it'll be something. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And then... It'll be something. It'll be I think something. that's that's what we all say, right? Yeah. It'll be something. So this this oh. is by Destination Yarn. This is who this dyer is, Destination Yarns. And she did a collection of New York City colorways. And so I bought Grand Central Terminal. Oh, oh well, that's how perfect I know. for souvenir yarn. Yes. So that is beautiful. This is my souvenir yarn. I like those colors. Yeah. So she had like four or five different colorways specific to New York that she had dyed up. They're really pretty. And then she also had a Scotland collection. Ooh. And so this one is called Glencoe. That is nice. But I got it in the sparkle base. Ooh, sparkles. It's all that's green nice. and gray and awesome. Yeah, I'm super excited about that's, that one too. That's lovely. So yeah. Uh, and that's what I bought. You that's, did all right. That's I know. nice. I did, I did. Ooh, before I forget. I need to do a quick shout out. I want to say hello to Maggie and Holly and Corleen because they all stopped me at VKL and they're really? like, hey, watch your podcast. Oh, <laughs> wow. Well, hi, ladies. Hi. That was really, That's really fun. fun. Oh, me, Adrian. That was funny, too, because I was like, no one will notice me here. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not a big name like yeah. everybody else, but to be stopped and, and people are like, hi. Yes. And I was like, oh, it was so sweet. That's really nice. So thank you so much, ladies, for Aww. saying hi. Oh, that's nice. That was lovely. So, yeah. I had the same thing happen. Oh, and you know what? I don't know if I said hi. Um, blue cat, white cat, blue, blah, 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 blah. Let me try that again. I think it's blue cat white cat is her is her um instagram name okay and uh she she did the same thing to me in norway though <laughs> That's awesome. right and we had just been around the yarn <laughs> festival and we were saying we were just we were just <coughs> um we're having lunch and and i hear this louise <laughs> and i could not have been more surprised <laughs> i like literally had no words because i'm thinking who knows me here uh, who? <laughs> right and yeah and that's what she's just what are you doing in norway <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome so i know it is fun but yeah very unexpected yeah, yeah. So it sounds like That's you had cool. a fantastic trip. Yeah, we had a lovely trip. It was really enjoyable. It was really great to, um, uh, Don and I roomed together and we had a hotel right on Times Square. So we actually had a view of Times amazing. Square. That was an amazing. Yeah. So high up. Yeah, it was 41st floor. So Holy it was really, really moly. crazy. But, um, yeah, it was a really lovely trip. It was nice to spend, a, like, some quality time with, uh. A bunch yeah. of our girls, yeah. and yeah, it was lovely. I really, really, really enjoyed it. It was really good. Mm. Did I see you um, went to Knit City as well? No, we didn't make it to Knit oh, City. Oh, you didn't go But there was City. a Knit okay. City booth at. Oh, okay. Yeah. That was one store that <clears throat> I remember we went yeah. to when we were um, Some of the other ladies did make it to Brooklyn General. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, I think they made it somewhere else too, but um, I was having a bad back day, so uh, I, and I had um, Don and I had a class, so okay. a bunch of ladies went shopping. And, Did shopping, yeah, and we did not. Well, great trip. Yes, that sounds was very fantastic. Good wow, fun. and you would think that I am done, but I am not. <laughs> How silly of us to assume that. <laughs> so, so this is some um, Black Friday shopping. Okay, that. Um, Took a while to get here, which is fine. I knew it was going to take a while. It was dyed to order. So, one of my favorite gradient dyers is called Apple Tree Knits. I've never heard of Look them. Look at the ball band with the little... Yeah. That, oh, gosh. Cool. And so, uh, these are her copper sock sets. So, it's 88% superwash merino wool, 12% copper infused nylon. Cool. Why why does it have copper in it? I don't know. Copper's supposed to be good for you. I don't know. Is it? I don't know. Can you anyway. see it? Is it sparkly? No, it's not sparkly. You can't is it see copper it. colored? No. <laughs> you can't see it at all. <laughs> I'm gonna burst your bubble. <laughs> That's um, beautiful. So I these like are it. two perfectly matched little cakes of gradient wow. yarn. Very so this one beautiful. is called uh, Night's Bright Night's Bright Colors. Mm. So it's a blue to black. That's pretty. Or dark purple. 
And then I have Vortex. Ooh, that's cool. Uh -huh. That's gonna look a nice knit out. And I have, I think this is called Ice Queen. Some more. <laughs> Oh, that's nice with like the like a minty green. Yeah, it's the the light. yeah, that's beautiful. And then the last one is called um, Morning Fog. So it's a nice oh, cream to gray. Yeah. That's really nice. Yeah. Now, would you ever think of doing something other than socks with those? No, why? I don't know. I just <laughs> I just wondered. No. Okay. I'm like, sure I could do mitts or something like that, but I don't knit mitts. But what about a shawl? But then why would I get it in two small cakes? Because I have lots of hers already in bigger cakes. Okay. Because I was just thinking like these. Uh, Woo! Run away yarn. You're not allowed to touch my yarn anymore. Sorry. <laughs> I'll, put my, I'll put mine down. Her twist is so unique. really nice. Don't you think? Yeah. I think that's probably the copper. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's copper. Yeah. Copper infused nylon. Okay. Does... Okay. This would cool. be a good time for somebody to leave us a comment about copper. <laughs> the benefits of copper. Do I need copper? No, I don't need copper. You do not need copper. <laughs> do not need it. But look at when those two look nice together. They're for socks. Something? Okay, okay, sorry. They'll be beautiful on they their own They will be beautiful socks. socks. Lovely socks. I just think those colors look nice together. So, yeah. Black Friday shopping. I'm not allowed to do that anymore. <laughs> Until next year, at least. Until next year. Yeah. Yes. Well, that's good. Yeah. I mean, and it's, yeah, it's also pretty, right? Lovely. I have lots of pretty. There's so lots much of pretty. pretty in my house. Yeah. Lots and lots of pretty. Well, that's good. You did good. Good choice. I mean, Thanks. everything is you, right? I yes. Can't, I can't say that you went crazy and came back with something. That didn't suit me. Exactly. Was like, right? Yeah. Out of character. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Oh. So how would you say, so how big was Vogue Knitting? Like compared to Kitchener, like the actual, like the number of vendors? Uh, actually pretty comparable. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, probably about the same size. Maybe a lit. It almost felt smaller. Really? But not by much. I think it was maybe the same number or slightly less vendors, but most vendors had like, Large, large booths. Large booths. Much okay. larger booths. Okay. So what would normally be a single booth that we would see, most people had double, triple booths. Okay. Okay. So. That's nice. Yeah. So each, most booths were like, oh, just like jammed full of yarn, like so much yarn. Um, yeah. And how many days was the show? Three. Okay. So. I think there were classes before that, but the actual vendor market opened up the Friday night, and it was open for three hours Friday night, and then open all day Saturday, all day Sunday. Okay. Did you go <coughs> to the fashion show? Well, you can't help it. It's in one of the uh, areas of the marketplace, so the marketplace okay. is over two floors. Oh, wow. So, and part of one of the floors was the fashion What's show. The fashion oh, show? Okay. okay. So, it's pretty hard to miss. Okay. So, I did some, see some people strutting. Strutting in their knitwear. I saw some. I I was. I just happened to be on Instagram, and somebody that I followed. I got a notification that they were starting a live video, and they were um, videoing mm -hmm. parts of the. Because I think one of uh, somebody she knew was modeling something, oh, or, okay. or was cool. one of the designers, or one of the nice. whatever. So I got to sit at home and watch it live. <coughs> that was awesome. Yeah, that was fun. I know. Yeah. It was. That, it looked like you guys had a great time. Yeah, we did. We had a really good time. That's good. Very neat. Yeah. And what we learned is that what we really want is just to have weekends where we hang out together. And we're like, <laughs> the yarn show was awesome, but we'll just take the hanging out together. Just and then uh, <laughs> stay in the hotel. And... Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So yeah. it was a lot of fun. Excellent. Well, Very good. Cool. I'm yeah. glad. I was excited to see all your yarn. I know. I was pretty good. You did. You did That's good. Pretty, you did really good. It's mildly restrained. Mm -hmm. I would say you did That's very well. That's a pretty well. once in a lifetime. Yeah. Yarn show. For sure. For yeah. sure. Yeah. I don't expect I'll ever go again. So. Yeah. Yeah. Because cool. there's other ones to go to. You guys could. You could do Rhinebeck. I'd like. I. I've been saying this for a couple of years. I want to go back to Rhinebeck. Mm -hmm. Maybe this will be the year. I don't know. I can't go to Rhinebeck this year. I don't think. You can't. No regrets. My 
one brother is turning 50 mm. that weekend. So. Oh, yeah. And he's the brother I like, so. so. Probably should go. And since I showed up to my other brother's 50th birthday party, I should probably show up to the Better one. Better show up to the... To the one who's, like, my favorite, so, yeah. Well, you know what, Ryan? I'm so, about that. The funny thing is, is he would be like, no, do whatever, I don't care. <laughs> He'd be totally fine with it. But Well, that's a guy thing, right? Because if it was your si like a sister, right, she'd be heartbroken. Oh, my God, it's my 50th birthday, and yeah. you didn't come, and blah, 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 right? But guys, yeah, they're like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. But you know what? Ryan Beck will be there. Exactly. The for next years year, to come, right? So. so you go whenever. It... But yeah, I really like that show. Oh, nice. Cool. Yeah, Very Rhinebeck cool. is supposed to be bigger. Rhinebeck is supposed to be gigantic. It's huge. Yeah. It's huge. You can't, yeah. I would go next time I go. When I go again, I will go another day. Stay another, like an actually, day. yeah. So you don't have a travel day, right? Because we left on the Sunday. We went to the show Sunday morning and then we left so we could drive home mm. in the afternoon. So I would stay all day Sunday and go to the show all day Sunday and then just spend Sunday night there and drive home Monday. Right. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, before I go to Rhinebeck, I want to see if I can get my back to feel a little bit better because I've been having issues with my back and stuff like that. So Yeah, definitely because it's a lot of walking. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, I've been having one of the reasons why I haven't knit as much as I um, normally would is because I've been having hand issues. So really, really sore knuckles and sore joints and things like that. And I've had a bit of golfer's elbow, which is the opposite of tennis elbow. <sighs> Really? So, yeah, different, so tennis elbow. Of... Yeah, tennis elbow hurts on the outside and golfer's elbow hurts on the uh, inside. Maybe they should start calling this knitter elbow. I know. Well, so you've been golf... doing physio, right? Yeah, I've been going to physio. Okay, good. So my actually my arm is so much better like cuz at one point I couldn't like it was incredibly painful to either that motion was really painful and then to bring it back was really oh, painful. Okay. So I'm like if I don't move it it's fine, but as soon as I need to go like reach for something I'm like, "Wow." Right. Did knitting contribute to that at all, do you think? Yep. Well, I was knitting like a fiend prior to that. So okay. one of the reasons why I've been knitting a lot less is because he's like, you need to take a break. My physiotherapist was so funny. He was When I first met him, he was like, okay. And I'm like, it's a knitting injury, blah, blah, blah. I've self-diagnosed, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, all right, well, well, how much do you knit a, a week on average? And I was like, oh. And I had to think about it. And then I'm like, and so I lowballed it because I was a little nervous. And I said 20 to 30 hours a week. And he went, what? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I'm glad I love all that. <laughs> like, it's another full-time job. What are you talking yeah. about? <laughs> yeah, but, he, yeah, you he figure. He was gobsmacked yeah. about how much I knit. And I'm like, oh, I don't even knit that much, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's only a couple hours a day. Yeah. We won't talk about the entire weekends that I've spent. Yeah. <laughs> 14 hours. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, breaks, breaks are for sissies. What are you talking about? <laughs> Somebody blend up a shake and just give me just a straw. Just give me a straw. <laughs> Hang on. I think that's the only time that my, my wrists ever start to bother me is if I do like a weekend, like deadline knitting thing mm. where I knit. Like, Constantly. Yeah. Like yeah. 12 hours a day mm -hmm. nonstop for like two days in a row. And then my wrists will start yeah. to bother me. And I'm going to have to stop knitting now because my thumb is starting to yeah, can bother you get me. Your thumb is Yeah. Okay. So yeah. I'm stopping. Well, my physiotherapist wanted me to do contrast baths. So, like, from warm to cold. Right. And I was like, no, I don't like that. And he's like, <laughs> come on. I'm like, I don't like the cold. Don't make me stick my hands in the cold. He's like, you're such a baby. I'm like, I know. <laughs> like, I'm aware. That does not change the fact that I don't want to don't do it. Don't want to do it. <laughs> uh. It's but I'm you. glad you're feeling care. better. Yeah, me definitely. Too, so. so you just kind of cut back on the amount of hours. Yeah, and then you need to take more breaks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. I think that's yeah, part yeah. of that's it. Smart. Yeah. We should be doing. That's what you don't want to be smart. Some stretches I just or something. <laughs> yeah, I have a whole list of stretches and. So, is there stuff, stuff that you can do as a preventative, like just like just doing things like this, and or like I don't know, any kind of like shoulder. Stuff. I mean, I guess anything would probably be good, mm -hmm. right? Just to stretch yeah. stuff. Yeah. But yeah, I know you never think to do that. Do you? I know because I'm too busy knitting. And he's like, <laughs> "Stop moving!" I'm like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> "You need to straighten up." I'm like, "I can't." <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm so. glad you're being proactive. About yeah, yeah. Care I, was, of it. I was like, That's "Oh, good. that really hurts." I probably should do something. Yeah. Bad. That's good. I'm like, "Oh, my hands have hurt for ages, but this is bothering me, so now I have to deal with it because that yeah. sharp pain." Adult pain I can handle. Yeah, so that's the thing. That if I have learned anything over the last couple of years, 
is that, yes, your body starts talking to you, right? And gently and quietly at first. And if you don't listen to that, then it gets worse. Yeah. And if you don't listen to that, then it, like, stops you in your tracks. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. So. Good. Awesome. Well, well, that's it. That was good. I think that's it. I need to get back to work. I have a, uh, I'm doing a shop update tomorrow. Do you have eggs to show us? I, they're in the kitchen. Um, they're in the kitchen. So this video will come out after the shop update is done. So I can tell you about it since it's not going to be a secret by the time this video is <laughs> uploaded. Just for that, I'm going to get it up tonight. And... <laughs> <laughs> no, I won't. <laughs> Thanks, Adrian. Yeah, no problem. No problem. I'm going to mess with her. <laughs> so uh, it's mostly, it is a, uh, it's an Alice in Wonderland collection. That's so really it fun. is a collaboration with uh, Stitcher, Michelle Bendy, who I've mentioned here before. She also is a new knitter. Uh, Bendy Stitchy is her channel. She is now doing, I think she's calling it KnitTube, her her knitting videos. Oh, because she also, of course, does uh, um, floss tube, which is cross-stitch, uh, more cross-stitch chatter. So she has designed a, a pattern, a cross-stitch pattern, Alice in Wonderland chart. And I have designed a collection of Alice in Wonderland bags. And the only reason I'm really mentioning it today is that I have done some wedge tote style bags. And I suspect <coughs> that there will probably still be a few left by the time this video goes live. So www.evertote.com. And they're super cute. I will send, I'll send you a picture. Maybe okay, you can pop a picture yep, in. I can so. totally do that. Nice. Here, 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 <laughs> here, here, here. There. So. Somewhere. 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 Right yeah. here. Yep. There's also, um, I have made uh, budgie bags. Mm -hmm. Budgie bags. Yeah. I heard you talk about those. Yeah. Budgie and I, I don't have one. Like the fabric is budgies. Like the, the fabric bird is budgies. budgies. Oh, yes. okay. That makes more sense. When I'm like trying to think of a type of bag, I'm like, I don't know what a budgie so, bag is. <laughs> this is the fabric. Oh, oh cute. my goodness. And I have, I have made a whole pile of cross-stitch bags and sold a whole pile of cross-stitch bags. And it was my plan to make um, a large wedge tote style, the, the like sweater size bag. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, they have a, it ha and you'll, if you see the cross-stitch bag listing, you'll see it has an olive uh, khaki twill on the bottom. Nice. And then I'll do a side strap on the side. So I'm gonna make oh, some beautiful. medium and some large Wedge nice. totes. I just haven't uh, haven't gotten around to that. So if they're not in the shop and you love this fabric and you would really really love one, just send me an email. Cool. And I'll I like see that what fabric. I can do. So my budgie bags. Yes. I'm making myself a large <laughs> wedge tote because I like I, that. I love that fabric. So I and this I don't nice. have a ton of it. And those bags are a couple dollars more expensive because that fabric is almost double the cost of what I normally pay mm -hmm. for a main print. But I couldn't resist. It is really nice. It. Bird brain. Very cool. Birds. So, yeah, that's it. All right. Oh, wow. Well, we did pretty that's good. That's it for this. Mm -hmm. Lots of projects. We're okay. at an hour and 47. Holy doodle. All right. And you're like, we don't have anything to talk about. <laughs> Today's going to be a shorty. We're uh, yeah. We, yeah. We just like Never to chat. That. Yep. Never say that. Just like to chat. Too did you short. notice I'm finally not wearing magenta or black? No one said anything. I did notice you had polka dots on. <laughs> I did notice that. I don't think I have ever owned a polka dot shirt. My mom can correct me if uh, if I'm wrong, but I don't remember ever having a polka dot shirt. And I thought, you know what? Time for something different. Nice. You know, and I, I really like it on you. Thank you. And I have Thank bought you. myself a couple of black tops with white polka dots, and I love them on the hanger. And when I get them home and I put them on, I'm like, mm, I don't think I can no? wear it. But I like it. I love them. When I first put it on, I thought, but then I thought, ah, go with it. Oh, I like it. Different. I really like it. Oh, thank you. Nice. So, polka dots. Cool. Go. All right, friends. And I All need right, to record another it. video, so. All Me right. too. Finish Friday. Yeah, Finish Friday. Finish Friday. Finish Friday. That's it Get for it. us. <laughs> 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 All right. So, thanks for watching. Bye, everybody. We'll see you. Stitching. Next time. Happy, happy knitting. Stitching. Oh, happy knitting. <laughs> Wrong video, girl. <laughs> Happy knitting. Well, knitting is stitching too. Yeah, right? happy I stitching, sew. happy knitting, happy sewing, happy, happy whatever you do. Happy weekend. Be happy. <laughs> Take care. Bye, everybody.